no, yeah. no with people out in the desert writing, you know, 15, 20 million dollar checks at a time. Yeah. It, you know, <laughs> that, that does skew the game a little bit. Yeah, but we tell them that we just need to get the people out. In, in that you guys be hurting for money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I benefit as, some, as a consultant with, with money in the system, but it is absolutely detrimental to democracy. It is. I mean, it's absolutely I think detrimental to public funds. I've always I think, I, 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 you know, it's interesting uh, is you say that because because I argue that people would pay, democracy would work a lot better for the people for public debt, for public finance. And I think, and again, but this is why I think the Republican Party is in so much trouble. I mean, what people like me and the Judy Smith don't exist anymore. We were in the party years ago and it was more moderate. Arguably, I don't know if it was ever really moderate, but you at least had people like Jim and Whitman and well, and you had a wing of the Republican Party that was at least progressive and that was sober on social issues. They cared about social justice. It is off the table now. And it's amazing to me how they get elected. It's actually because I don't I don't think the well, country's there. The country's more right centrist. Right. Wouldn't you agree? But but it's but it's but it's, it's, it's we've, had, we've had really volatile swings with the independent voters. I mean, really strong swing in 2006 and 2008, and they swung back in in, 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 20, in 2010. I think you're going to see them swing back. Look, if if. If Obama's carrying women voters by, I mean, we carried women voters by 13 points last time around. If Obama's carrying women voters by better than 13 points again, and you know, oh, he's going to win by. A but it's not even. About, but at that point, it's not even about Obama. There's not a. There's not a congressional seat in a toss-up district if we're carrying women by that by that percentage point. That is not in play. I mean, and that's huge. And that's the problem. Although Romney, see, I think Romney reminds me of George Herbert Walker. Okay, when George Herbert Walker. Bush abandoned who he really was yeah. and he tried to be a conservative, he got his ass whooped by Bill Clinton. I mean, in 92. And when you think about everything Clinton had going against him, the economy definitely was against Bush, but Bush had a 91% approval rating with the Persian Gulf for the first one. And the fact that he lost that re-election is still amazing to me. But I think it gets down to abandoning your principles of who you are. George Herbert Walker Bush was no more a conservative than I am, or some of the other Republicans, Christy Whitman or other people you could name. And and Romney did the same thing. He's trying to be a conservative, like he's new, and he's not really that. That's not who he is. You know what? <laughs> if you look up the word conservative, that, you know everyone sees through that. They see that. They say he's a flip flopper, and now so for the, the party to really coalesce around him, it will be interesting. And I've I've read stories, and I've heard people say the only way that we will really coalesce around him is if he has a conservative running mate. Um, and that and and I've actually heard people say, yeah. I've heard people say he's that Hispanic. he's not close to Hispanic guy. Absolutely, they got a problem now, right? But you know, they why, not why, in the world, <laughs> why in the world <laughs> would, yeah. would any African American, <laughs> and, and I spent 37 years in the United States Army. I'm going to tell you something. I can't imagine why any Native American, African American, or Hispanic, or anyone of a minority of any type would ever want to have the claim that they are conservative. If you look up the word conservative in Webster's Dictionary, and I'm sure you all know this, it means the way I like things the way they work. Why would I like things the way they work? you got to be out of your mind. Well, they want to take the country back. Yeah. And to but, me, but that's guess, what that means. But guess what? If you look at the, the socioeconomic part, and the top boys, and, not even girls, top boys in charge of everything, they still got it. Who are trying to kid? They still got it. They don't have anything to take back. They got it. We need to take it. Right. So Cornell, who do you think you'll pick? I, you know, I have, I, I really, I really, I really have no idea. I know, but I mean, I, I think I keep hearing Republicans in the media sort of talk up Rubio. Rubio has been so solid on saying, "I'm not. This is not something we're doing. Way to do it." I think it's, it becomes sort of embarrassing almost, and he can't at this point sort of go back and say now that, 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 I, that I want that I want to do it. And they cut, they cut to the point where they need a game change before. For the abortion stuff, I thought McDonald would have been a fabulous sort of VP pick. But now with the, with the abortion stuff, it gives Democrats every opportunity to, to, to go out of their eyes. Right. The women thing in yeah. the but it's like, I don't get why they do it. Why is it GOP? It's settled. It's done. Roe versus Wade's decided. Get the freak past it. Because they want to take it. They want to go back. They still want to go back. They want to go back. And that's why you see all of us. But that's what you're saying. They want to go back. 
Or he's forcing women at his wife. No, 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 Mikhail, yeah. Which is clearly why, you know, they keep fighting for this to take place. Well, somebody probably has to change the conversation. First of all, it's all about the economy. He does, but it's hard. It's going to be hard for me Given all the footage that oh, we have. the president has to keep right, being right. presidential, not make any major mistakes. As long as Iran doesn't go off the deep end and something crazy shakes in foreign affairs, I think he's okay. But, but well, and, and the, 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 the trip to Afghanistan was gangster. I mean, it was a gangster. It was, it was good. I was, I was, I was, I was. That was fantastic. Did you see the Republicans the mad because he's explaining? Wait a minute, I'm sorry. He killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Shouldn't he talk about right. it? Yo. But like, like you all wouldn't have been talking yeah, about exactly. it. Right. Oh, well, well, they did. Uh, it, it, in in O2, uh, you know, Bush used 9/11. Right. Well, him flying on top of there. Right. I mean, that was that was their major play in, in you know O2, O4. Uh, so yeah, they they've talked about it. They politicized it, and essentially that was something that he came came into the race saying, if I see, you know, if I have an opportunity, I'm gonna get him, and then he did it. So why should we not expect him to to say, I said what I I did what I said what I, I was gonna do? Right. No. It doesn't make any sense.